Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I'm just going to prepare a video on approaches of interfaces in Oracle Fusion. So I already have a video on Oracle Apps interfaces. Okay, so how the interfaces works in Oracle Apps R12. So there are inbound interface, outbound interface, how they will work and what is the flow and process over there. So just go through that video to get understand the details detail about the interfaces okay so before just starting this topic i just want to say you that if you are new on my channel please like share subscribe my channel if you are having any doubts you can write into the comment section under any videos if you need any information regarding the oracle fusion or if you have any doubt you can also email me on my email id which is on my channel so just we'll start with the topic so approaches into the interfaces so first of all i will tell you that what is the interface in short okay i will write some short details on the notepad to get you understand better so what is interface okay so when we are inserting the data from any other system to our oracle fusion okay or suppose we want to make the invoice okay but we have to make the thousands of invoice in the same go or in a one go so that time we can't go to front end we can't go insert one by one that thousand invoice what we will do we will just bulkly post that data into our database okay and we can see that from the front end also once it is inserted into the base tables so how many approaches are there to insert this data into the base tables okay so in r12 we are having the different approaches for inserting the data that i already explained in my interface videos of r12 i will share the link to the description section but that is about the r12 but here is the fusion so what is the concept so they are having the similar concept but just the terminologies get changed over here so there we are having the inbound and outbound interfaces which will be works based on the standard api or the custom apis okay so basically what is interface inserting the data into base table okay so which is coming from any legacy system or any other system or any other files and we are inserting into the oracle base tables okay that is nothing but the interfaces so in oracle fusion we are having the four different types of techniques by which we can achieve the interfaces okay so i'm just going to explain you all of that so before starting that i have to just tell you that one there is an one concept of an sas and pass model also in the oracle fusion so why we are having that SaaS and PaaS model concept? So basically SaaS, SaaS is nothing but the software as a service and PaaS is nothing but the as a platform as a service. So what is the SaaS? In SaaS we, can, we can't do any type of customization means whatever the services Oracle is providing, whatever the uh, OF page or anything which already Oracle having, we only have to use that services and we have to utilize for our business but what is the oracle pass so there is a type of a customization means suppose i need some other page that i can develop i can incorporate that respective into the thing oracle fusion system and i can use that so that is nothing but the pass so interfaces will be works like such and that only so we can create a custom code to build or to post our data into the table or we can just directly post using the seeded apis which are already there so like seeded api is nothing but the all the code which is written by the oracle themselves okay and what is the customization that we are building something from our side okay so we are having this five type of an interfaces techniques into the oracle fusion okay so what is the first one that is an fbdi FVDI is then a file based data import. Second one is an ADFDI, that is an ADF desktop integration. Third one is a REST based web services. Fourth one is a SOA based web services. And last one is an FBL, that is a file based load. So these five are the interface techniques in Oracle Fusion. So we will go through each 
of the techniques one by one and then after we will go for the example of an each okay so first i am just explaining the fvdi so basically what is this fvdi so fvdi is nothing but the file based data import so how this will get used so we are having this approach so first we will download the template so how we can download this template we can download this template from oracle site okay so there is a link for every fvdi template is given and we can just download that template then we will fill that respective csv or excel whatever uh, with our data suppose i want to insert the supplier detail so i will insert all the supplier detail and i will just prepare a zip from that so there is already one utility is over there now by that we can create that zip so i had inserted the data i had created the zip then what i will do i will put that file into my oracle fusion instance how i will just upload by using one upload functionality and that file will go to the ucm server so as i return here it will go to the ucm server okay and then after we will run some import ess jobs so what it will do it will insert the data into the base tables okay so what is the approach over here while inserting the data into the ucm server first the data get inserted into the staging table and after that interface table so by this respective first job okay and when we run this import ess job then finally the data will get validated and which will get inserted into the base table so this is the process how we can perform the fvdi and what is the fvdi so here what we are having we had given our custom code like i had given some input of supplier in my excel sheet and then i had uploaded that into the ucm server and then i posted it into the base table by using all this functionality okay so this is the first one the second one that is nothing but the by using the standard api adf di which is nothing but the adf desktop integration so by using the standard APIs, we will insert the data into the base table. So what data, suppose I'm having the AP invoices and there is some invoices which is having the error. So we can just download that respect to Excel file on our local system. And we require the one add-in or one plugin to connect this respect to Excel to Oracle Fusion directly. So what we will do, we will just install that plugin in our local only we will log in with our oracle fusion instance credential and then we will just edit the data and we will post on the excel we don't have to touch the oracle fusion instance anywhere we don't have to submit anything okay so that will get achieved by this adfdi so what we have to do download the template fill the data or correct data and then by using the standard apis or ess insert the data into the base table okay so how it will go it will go to staging table and after staging table it will directly insert into the base table because we are using the standard api as you are here so this is just the theoretical concept so we are also going to see this how it will works practically okay then after the third one which we are having the rest apis it is also called as an rest based web services so we are having some different methods over here like get method post method put method delete method and the patch method we are having this five different methods by using this method we can insert the data into the base tables okay so this is nothing but the type of an customization okay so oracle will give you one rest service url so by that rest service url you can access that rest services okay the next thing we are having five different method that is an gate post put delete and the patch to insert the data into the base table so what we are doing here we pass the required parameter for this respective method suppose i want to post or insert something into the database so that time i will use this post method suppose i want to delete some data so i will use this delete method and so on respectively so i will insert or i will delete that methods and all these methods are having the different parameters so i will pass the parameter and by using this rest service i will insert the data into the database but for inserting this we requires one middleware or postman okay so it is nothing but like as a tool only 
so by using that tool we can insert that all the data okay so this is the third type rest based web service so we will also see one of the example for is in next videos the next approach is an a so best web service so so best web service is nothing but the here also we are having one url only which is given by oracle only so by we can open this url in our system and we will get one ui and we will just insert the fields into that ui and we can just put that respective data into the base tables like create or delete supplier or all the fields okay but here we don't have any type of a methods over here just based on the ui we will insert the data and the last one is nothing but the fbl that is in a file based load so how this file based load will work first we will create the csv file and by using the pl sql control program we will insert all the data into first custom table then interface table and then the finally to the base table the sequence is same as the fbdi but in fbdi we are having the standards import programs but here we are having the some pl sql custom programs or we can call it as in control programs okay so this is the fifth approach for inserting the data into the base table okay so these are the five different approaches of interfaces in oracle fusion which we will use to insert the data into the base tables for this fvdi process i already made few videos which is live on my channel you can go through that and you can understand this fvdi process detail i have the supplier videos and journal import videos for this fvdi next video i am going to upload on this adfdi how this adfdi will works so if you have any doubts regarding this video you can write into the comment section if you are new on my channel please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you